Hello, this is Conan Bosch. This is my electronic circuit here. So I have the HCS or 04 ultrasonic distance sensor connected here and my passive buzzer here. So first things first, I have my ground pin going to ground. I have the echo pin here going straight up to pin D12. I have the trigger pin here going to D13. And I have the VCC pin going to the 5 volts bus here, which is being fed from this 5 volts uh, pin on the Arduino. Pin D2 here is going straight down to through this 100 ohm resistor and it's going straight to the, the positive terminal of the, the passive buzzer here and then it's going straight through to ground. So in my code now, I've set all my defined pins. I have the variable duration set as a long value and the variable distance set as an integer value. So in my setup here, I have serial begin at 9600 um, bits per second and I have my three pin modes here. So I have the pin mode trig pin set as an output, the echo pin is set as an input, and the buzzer is set as an output. Um, the vo in the void loop now, I have digital write to the trig pin low, same thing to the trig pin high, digital write to trig pin low. So it's low, high, low. So this is basically sending out, it's telling the, the trigger pin to send out a sound wave which is going to be hitting it off a wall and bounce it back. And the next line here is a duration equals pulse in echo pin high. So the, this is going to uh, make the echo pin stay constantly high, which is going to be constantly taken in the value of the, the rebounded um, pulse. So the trigger pin is going to send that pulse, it's going to come back, hit, go into the echo pin, and that value is going to be saved as a duration. So next next line here is uh, the distance is equal to the duration. So the duration is the time it's taken from the trigger pin to send out a signal and then for the echo pin to receive that signal. So that duration is going to be multiplied by 0 0.034 and it's going to be divided by 2. And that's going to be saved here as distance. Now in the serial prints here, I have, I'm going to, uh, it's basically I'm just going to be displaying that on the serial monitor. And I have a delay there for 500 milliseconds. Um, so in the if statement here now, I have if state if distance is smaller than 100 centimeters. So if this calculated value of distance is smaller than 100 centimeters, execute this code here. So I have in this code, I have tone vol set as an integer value, and that is equal to the map function. Now I have the syntax here to, to show the parameters of the the map function function here. So um x here is the value so our x is distance which is the which is the value here that's calculated here so distance and then i have the from low value which is five from high value which is 100 100 too low is zero and too high is 1000 so um so basically uh the, the map function it, it remaps the number from one range to another so this distance, va distance value here is the x, that's going to be the remapped number. So that's going to be the number that's going to be remapped. The from low number here, which is 5, is going to be the lower bound of the value's current range. The from high value is going to be the upper bound of the value's current range. And now the 0 and the 1000, so the too low and too high is going to, so the too low is the lower bound of the value's target range. And the 1000 is the upper bound of the value's target range. So, this trigger pin is going to send out a, a, a sound wave, it's going to hit an object, and it's going to return to the echo pin. And however, like wherever that object is, it's going to change the distance, which is going to change the numbers here. And it's going to change the number of tone vol. So, we're going to 1000 minus the tone vol value. So if the object is very close to the ultrasonic distance sensor, the sound is going to be really high pitched. But the further away you go, the further the object goes away from the ultrasonic distance sensor, the lower the sound is going to be. And then I have here the tone, which is the, it's going to generate a square wave. So it's basically just generating that sound. So that's our if statement. And so if the distance is below 100 centimeters, execute this code of highlight here. If not, so if else, then no tone to the buzzer pin. So just stop the sound altogether. So nothing's going to happen if it's below 5 centimeters and nothing's going to happen if it's over 100 centimeters. So it has to be within that range.
So, going to explain what I've just said there now. So, so I have the object here. As you can see here, it's above 100 centimeters, so it's at 114 now. Now I'm going to slowly um, lower. It. Now, sorry, you'd want to, you might want to lower your volume there if that's too loud. So it's just above 100 centimeters. I'm going to go all the way down to below five centimeters, and we'll just listen to see what happens. So that's what's happened. So the object, as I said, wherever the object is in between uh, uh, five centimeters and 100 centimeters, once it's in between that, it will, just, it will output a noise from the buzzer. And it will be a different sound compared to where, wherever the object is.